Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Random Things. Today we're covering The Dying Machine, Colored Grass, Stained Bricks, Rainbow Lamps, and Crafting Tables. It's the colorful update. So as you can see before me, there is a lot of really pretty rainbow effects on the ground. Uh, you might wonder why? Uh, well, why not? Uh, <laughs> if you've ever wanted to change a biome because the uh, grass or surrounding area did not quite look the way that you wanted, this might actually help you out so that you don't have to change the, eff the effective biome. Uh, you can just change the grass color. So to do this, it's really, really simple. Uh, you are first going to need to access to a crafting bench. And then you will need access to Silk Touch so you can get a grass block. Put a grass block or however many you want in a crafting table and you'll get grass seeds. Take that seed and you can combine it with any number of different colors and you can therefore change it to be whichever, uh, well, desired effect you want and therefore make grass seeds of the color that you want. It's, it's that simple. I mean, uh, the idea is, though, that you'd have to put it on dirt. Because uh, if you try and put this on regular grass, nothing happens. But if you put it on dirt, it will spread. And over time, it will spread just like regular green grass does. It's just a different color. So that's pretty much it for the grass. So let's move on to something a little bit more interesting. Now, you'll see here we have stained bricks. These are of the same basic colors. Once again, you've got about 16 different colors here. And uh, once again, you're going to need access to a crafting grid. It should be fairly simple to accomplish. You will need to have at least eight bricks and one color of your choice. Put them in a circular pattern on the crafting grid and insert the color that you want it to be. For instance, cyan. I now have eight cyan stained bricks. It's just the cost of one extra piece of dye in order to uh, make eight of these above and beyond the normal standard brick color. And uh, you can get quite a variety for, well, colorful needs or to kind of liven up your building materials. Uh, now that we've covered the stained bricks, you probably also noticed the rainbow lamps back here. That is actually a rainbow lamp. <laughs> uh, simple enough to make. You just make a redstone lamp, cactus green, rose red, and lapis lazuli will get you one rainbow lamp. And you'll notice that uh, the actual crafted item will cycle through the different colors in your inventory. That's not exactly how it works. If you notice, I have a couple white ones up here. Let me fly up a little higher so you can see. Now you'll notice that there is a redstone signal going across the top here. Sorry for the quick and sudden motion, but it's color dependent on the uh, strength of the redstone signal. So if I were to place more of these here, you see that nothing is happening because I need to have more redstone on there. And you'll see that the colors are going to be the same. So if I continue building this out, you'll see that the colors will start to, well, continue on in such a fashion so that you know what the, uh, the strength of the redstone signal is will decide the color of the lamp. So if you currently want to use a color system to, uh, you know, get you your redstone awareness, <laughs> you can do so, or you could just use it to uh, color redstone lamps as you want, uh, as there are multiple different ways of obtaining a stronger or weaker redstone signal. All right, let's quickly cover these crafting tables. Now, you can actually make them in multiple different colors. Uh, the way that you do so is by taking a regular crafting table and some other type of wood surrounding it with that and you'll get the alternate version. It's not going to have any other advantages besides the fact that it just looks, well, like a different color. There you go. Now you'll probably notice just above these uh, crafting tables are these here. Oak platforms or acacia platform, uh, etc. and so on. They all match the uh, according sizes except for, of course, the uh, specter version, but uh, we're not getting into how to make specter items today. Now, a platform is uh, created very simply with just three of a certain type of uh, wood, depending on what colors you want it to be, for instance, spruce and oak, uh, over top of an ender pearl will get you six platforms. Now, the advantage of these, you're thinking, well, it just looks like a very thin slice of stuff. Well, it kind of is, but at the same time, it's also better than that. So watch this here. Let's uh, get out into a first, third person view kind of thing here. There we go. And you can see that I can actually walk forward 
and I'm kind of like clipping through them. The reason being is that you can actually walk through these and uh, they, they don't affect anything. I mean, basically they're uh, non-solid from all sides except for the top. So you could create a platform that you can uh, seriously just jump straight up from, like so. And if you hold shift, you'll fall right back down. So it's a quick and easy way of getting through an area. And uh, for example, if you have oak planks right next to these, you could easily disguise a secret escape through your own area that looks exactly like the rest of the blocks. And all you have to do is press shift and you fall right through and can get out of that area. Pretty darn cool. I do like these. They're, uh, they've got multiple uses, uh, not just getting up in places, but also getting out. Now for the best part, which is last, in my opinion at least, and that is the dying machine. The dying machine is fantastic. It has multiple uses. One, it dies things. Yes, all sorts of things. Uh, let me start with, uh, I, actually, I don't want to, oh wait, yeah, armor works. Uh, let's grab some, a iron chest plate. Let's grab something from another mod, a dark chest plate. And we're going to grab some uh, leather boots. And uh, actually, look at this. I've got some soul bound uh, gear here that, you know, it, it basically enchanted uh, equipment. So let's Let's grab some of this. I've got some an enchanted sword already, but let's also grab uh, one more weapon. Um, let's say a, a, a shovel, perhaps. Uh, that'll work. A regular Minecraft iron shovel. And I currently have an enchanted iron sword. Now, here's where the dying machine really shines. You can put something in here, and provided it doesn't already have its own color specifications, you can dye it. So if I put green in there, it will change it to green. And of course, you'll notice that over here, it's just a standard regular color like it was before. That's nothing really particular, but let me uh, try this here. I'll put that in there and then I can clean it back off just by putting it in. Not a problem. Well, if it's enchanted, you know how sometimes people don't like the enchantment color. Well, that's not a problem either. Let's say your default color for enchantments is actually purple. So it's not going to change that, but it will give you the option of changing the actual uh, color of the uh, armor piece itself. So that's why this is so dark here. And this one here, uh, the effect looks exactly the same. So if I were to put this through but change the enchantment color, I could make it something. Well, let's pick something a little bit more uh, outlandish like lime green. There you go. Now you can see a really big difference in how the armor looks. Now this just changes the enchantment color by choosing that one. If I want, I could further affect it and make it super limey <laughs> and equip this on my character. You can see that it like glows in the dark. It is really, really bright. And you can do this with all sorts of stuff. Uh, I can put uh, some dark plate in here and make it uh, blue. Uh, I could make uh, iron chest plate. I can make that red. Um, put the boots in here, make those uh, uh, yellow with uh, yellow enchantment on them. It's going to be absolutely crazy, you know, looking at this stuff. It's it's really good. Works for a lot of mods. It works in a lot of ways. Um, you can make an orange shovel so that you can confuse people or <laughs> just if you want to. Uh, it's it's really nice. And uh, in order to make one of these things, it's, it's not difficult at all. Just a crafting table, a bit of a lapis bit of cactus green and a bit of rose red all over top of one piece of black wool will get you the dyeing machine, which is fantastic. So I guess that's probably about it for now. I look like a, a total mismatched uh, rainbow person here. It's pretty pretty crazy stuff. But uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, if so, please don't forget to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, make sure to spread the mischief to others if you think they enjoy this content. Until next time, folks, I'll see ya.